Hi, the exciting list animation you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, number one gets activated and we have the details about number one shown. Then on a click, we have number two activated and the details shown and it goes on for number three and number four. First of all, where do you use such exciting list animations? The first use is in videos. When you're presenting to an audience that is likely to be distracted, then such small animations can hold the audience's attention. The second situation where you would use such exciting animations is when you want to teach young students who are likely to be distracted. If you're making a presentation to senior management, such exciting animation may not be appropriate. Now, with that out of the way, let us learn how to create this exciting list animation, which will work quite nicely in your explainer videos and teaching videos. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The whole game is about stacking animations one after another. So let us create the base text element for which we would apply custom animation. Let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle. And this will serve as our button. If you want, you can have this in black color and add a bit of preset like this and then add a number one. And usually it's a good idea to use a thicker, bolder font. So the number clearly shows. The next step is to draw a line. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool and then let us draw a line like so. And then let us give this black color. Then I'm going to write my subtitle text here. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and write subtitle text one. Let us have this in the same font as this. So let us go here and use to send empty condensed extra bold increase the size like so and then place it over here if you want you can even have it a little bigger it is completely up to you it is personal preference then i want to write the explanation for the subtitle so let us go here and let us say you can replace this sample text with your own text let us increase the font size to 20 and then let us fold it and let us keep it over here now the last step is to have an arrow here that starts the animation off so let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. Let us pick up this arrow. It doesn't matter which arrow you pick up. You then readjust the position like so. So it doesn't really look like the regular arrows that people normally see. You can make your adjustments as far as the length, width and everything. And once you're happy with it, you go to Shape Fill, give it a red color. Go to Shape Outline, give it white color. Increase the weight to somewhere around four and a half points and then add a bit of shadow so it stands out. So go to shadow and then let us say this is the outer shadow that we are going to use and increase the size and then let us rotate it and then put it in this angle. Excellent. Now this will be the starting point of the animation. So let us go to animations and let us open the animation pane so you can see what I'm going to do. Let us introduce this element on the scene with a nice exciting animation, which is a curve up animation. For that, let us go to all these animations, go to more entrance effects and we want to have something under exciting and it is called curve up and that is how it enters the scene. Right after that, we want this to react to this clicking. So we are going to have an emphasis animation, which is a pulse animation. So you see that that happens after previous. Right after that, we want to have the reaction pass on to this text. So we are going to have an exciting emphasis animation. You can see this option called wave animation. So you do that and that is how it waves. And this happens after previous. While this happens, we want to have this one peek out. So let us go to entrance animations, go to more entrance effects, go to peek in, okay, and then say from top. And this needs to happen from behind. So let us say send to back. And this happens with previous. So now when I go to slideshow, you can see the whole sequence on a click so that is how the whole animation happens. It's a very interesting animation. Once we have one of these elements done, we can have multiple copies of this. So let us select everything. Don't make the mistake of grouping it because once you group it, you will lose all the animations. So hold the control button down and click and drag from the top. And let us make the change here as number two. 
and this will be number two then let us select both of them hold the control button down click and drag position everything properly so that is the right position then we will change this to three and then change this to three and make the final adjustment to four and call this four excellent now i'm going to take everything and then place it somewhere to the center so there is a balance on the slide now when we go to slideshow you can see the final result these are the four subtitles we reveal each of these topics with an exciting animation like so once you make one prototype you can of course copy and paste and have as many of these elements as you want in our templates collection we have a product called add-on 140 powerpoint list templates when i click on that you can see that this is the pack we have some really exciting list animations that can be quite useful in a number of situations I highly recommend that you click on the link in the description box below the video and check out this page. And if you feel that this kind of animation is something that you are looking for, then we have this option available. It is priced reasonably. So go ahead, click on the link, explore the product and see if it is something that you want to purchase. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.